Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Yeah, I got a little bit of work going on here. I uh, got these printers uh, sort of queued up, getting a whole bunch of plates and frames going so we can start getting some bigger builds going. Uh, I did a little bit of camping out over at the, the CNF miners there to get some cobalt. And the reason being is, oh, that's not the right button, uh, so I can get uh, some, where are they here? Oh yeah, the uh, reinforced frames and the Mark II plates. Because uh, air blades are going to be a thing, uh, always going to be a thing uh, here, and unfortunately we need cobalt for two of those four things that we need. Now the silver is not big of a deal, we can get silver all the time, but uh, so far they're holding up, I might have to move them, but definitely we'll have to go for probably a trip up north. Because I'm pretty sure that you can get cobalt up in this area. No, we're actually not too far away. Uh, we might take a miner up there and then print something on to fly home. Who knows? Uh, we do got to start working on a big project eventually, but we'll do that in due time. Uh, but today, I wanted to do a little, make it, have a little fun project I want to try. Uh, with the, the strafing of the, the, the sky cream, yes. The thing with the claw on it. Uh, I wanted to see if I get some more... Uh, like proper flight. Oh, this thing is doing really good. Lots of deuterium. Uh, now, I'm, I realize because I'm limited to how many ash wool keys can bound to each control, uh, we're not going to have complete flight. We're not going to have, we're, we're going to have sacrifice pitch more or less. But we're going to have roll, we're going to have the strafing, we're going to have complete and utter steering should be able to fly it upside down and have have no issues now I have been sort of thinking about how I was going to do this um, uh, there's two ways it could be flown and I'll go over here and I'll use this as a bit of an example uh, basically what I'm going to do is it's going to be it's going to be as small as possible all it's really going to be is a cockpit a generator and I might even go with the small cockpit the 2 by 3 just so I can stand the generator up and try to get it as light as possible. Uh, it's just gonna be it's gonna be that, and then it's gonna be three, six air blades, three sets. And the reason why it's gonna be three is originally it was gonna be two, uh, but the problem is is when you roll because the air blades uh, automatically self self align themselves, that once you start rolling and go sideways, you're not going to be able to roll anymore because basically air blades are facing up and down and I'll explain that when we get into the build. So uh, the, the the main flight air blades will have to be stabilization off so they always stay parallel with the, the vehicle so they do not move when you fly. Uh, you can fly like that, it is very dangerous because you don't have a hover mode. So you basically have to keep hitting, holding space to sort of keep your altitude. And so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to there's going to be six air blades. The two in the middle are going to have the stabilization on, and the other four are going to be stabilization off. Now, from what I was told, each one of these can lift about 1,400 kilos. So as long as I have two of these on here and the craft is under 3,000, which will not be an issue, then it should be no problem. And I also want to try to make sure I get my center center mass. It's in here somewhere in this mess right there. <laughs> try to have that more or less dead on center with that one air blade right there and that will or those two air blades and that will just make sure that it keeps a proper balance and that it doesn't ha want to have a tendency to roll over but we'll figure that out so let's find uh, a room some room here I was actually thinking about this when I was getting ready to record here I was almost thinking about like paving the area making like huge compound areas uh, we might actually do that. I gotta go clear out these miners pretty soon here. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the right button, of course. Start with our handy dandy jack tool here. I don't think I've ever. Oh, I think when I first started playing, I used the jack, but other than that, I, I don't think I ever use it. Alright, so let's see if we have the. Yeah, we don't have a too, too wide version of the glass cockpit. And I don't want to use that because we have to put blocks underneath it. But if I use this, then I got to attach blocks to the front of it. So let's actually do that. And we'll go ahead and put the generator on the back. 
and that's that's why uh, if I had used a 3 by 3 cockpit if I go vertical with it then the center mass is going to be either left or right uh, or if I have it going horizontal it's either going to be bottom heavy or top heavy and I want to try to keep the center mass as close to the center as possible all right let's go ahead and finish this up oh yeah it was going to be I already had thought of a name for this thing it's going to be a firefly it's going to start getting dark here pretty quick now I'm pretty sure uh, no I can't but I can there which means we'll have to balance the load so we'll do that and I think I'll probably have to put another block on top put one up there and let's fly up here and actually what I should be doing this is actually what I was thinking about because uh, the terminals everything's going to be built in more or less twos so the weight on that is 15 then I can actually get away with doing that then alright so that's where we're going to put our terminal terminal is going to be right there because it weighs the same as uh, one of the small slopes and that's what we do so then we'll go with another slope there uh, we're going to put a slope on this side because we only need one terminal and of course it's cheaper like so and then we're going to have one air blade here right and then I need three more blocks so well, let's hit the right buttons here that's not the right block one two and then I'll put a slope on the end here like so and see if I'm on the other side here and, and I'm going to repeat this on the other side and take a nap because it's getting dark and I'll bring you back okay now the other thing I'm going to do is because uh, I was talking about how I got the other air blade I'm going to have the six air blades in this for stabilization or the two air blades in the middle with stabilization on to allow this thing to hover so you can uh, sort of maneuver a little bit easier but I want to add a second switchboard on the back to d turn those ones off and that's for if you want to try to get more professional in your flight and you can turn it off and fly without stabilization uh, let's see here move yellow for the power and then now uh, we'll have green for for the stabilization all right now just a matter of putting some air blades on here and get some red ones there there and there and go on the other side I'd imagine this thing is extremely light right now. 1800, and that's including the post that's in the ground, too. So that's not too bad. Let's hit the right button here. Finish those up. And we'll see how well this goes. Am I out of electronics already? Uh, oh, yeah, I was still printing some. Oh, uh, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm all done. I got it all set up. So, uh, first I'm going to turn the power off on both of them. Uh, what I'm going to do is connect the power to the, from the generator to the outer four air blades in the corners. And then I'm going to do it to the switchboard, or the other switchboard. And then this switchboard connects to these two. So, when that's on, it's only these four in the corner and if you have that one on then your stabilization turns on and of course I will actually hotkey that in this terminal so I'll turn the, these off for now we'll go ahead and hook that up to the switchboard or the uh, terminal give it some fuel so I can actually work with it and I want to see oh yeah got to turn it on first now I want to see if uh, can you actually hockey it? You can. Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, I guess we can actually change that to hover. Let's go do that now. Uh, ooh, uh, okay, it's the one that's turned off. Uh, the one that's turned off. Okay, we'll change this to. We'll just toggle H. There we go. H. 
All right, so now I gotta get all the rest of them configured. So, of course, go ahead and set dir direction like this. And uh, someone pointed out that there was um, there was an issue with different some keyboards where uh, if the bindings aren't actually set, that maybe they weren't working properly. Because I I had some of them that had I had, had changed some of the settings, but the menu wasn't there on some of them. Anyways, I'm rambling here. Oh, that was a lag spike. And I think... I don't know if I should have this directional or not. I will go for it. And go to shot, see what happens. Alright, so now... Uh, I'm trying to think what I gotta do here. Oh, yeah. So now I gotta get everything configured. So I'm gonna get everything set up off camera so it saves, saves you a, a headache and makes it a little easier for me. Okay, I am all done. Uh, I had to do a little bit of fine tuning. I was doing what I had to do with the that one over there where I had to get in there and I actually had to move the air blades to figure out where they're going. And yeah, it took a little bit. Uh, the, the way you have the directional setup set up actually affects how the the key binds are set up so yeah that was a bit of an issue but everything else seems to be working okay now the question is one where's the center of mass on this it's a bit bottom heavy let's see if we can lift it up a little bit and it's a little back heavy too apparently now what can i do to fix that Actually, what I can do to fix that, you can uh, take a couple of these. Now, if I hit the right button here, and of course, it's getting dark. Put one there and one there. I don't think filling them in really matters. And it's still bottom heavy. Hmm. Might have to put something up on top here. Uh, I gotta, looks like I got to do a little bit of balancing, and I think I can get away with putting a little more weight in the front here. Maybe like a bar across, which might actually work. Let's try that. Uh, not with a terminal. Come on, there you go. Get there in the end. Okay, now it's starting to sag a little bit more. Yeah, it's still too top heavy. Uh, the reason why I care about being top heavy is, or bottom heavy, is it's going to want to continue to roll like this. Like if you let it just leave it be, then it will eventually end up, end up this way. Which is a good thing, but if you're trying to do stunt flying, then you're constantly having to correct it. Okay, let's see how we're doing there. It's a little better. Uh, let me do a little more adjusting and bring back the day, and we'll check it out. Okay, I have everything all taken care of. I have the center of mass basically dead center. Uh, the problem is that cockpit is really bot bottom heavy. So, yeah, it's not as sleek as I thought it would be, but... We're still at a decent weight. I do have everything configured, so let's take it for a spin. Uh, we also uh, reconfigured uh, the switchboard, so Y turns it on. Same thing, H turns off the main air blades. So let's lift it up. And as you can see, it lifts up really nice. It's got a lot of bounce to it because I shot straight up. Because I've only got uh, two hover, hover pads, or air blades. Uh, hovering me. Now let's do a strafe test. Strafe works. And now for the roll. Now unfortunately I couldn't test the roll while it was planted, but let's see what happens. That looked like fun. The camera didn't like it. <laughs> oh god, no. And then I do this. Now this is, I didn't actually think about this. This is where uh, a pitch would have come in handy. But being slightly bottom heavy does actually have an advantage. So let's actually 
do that. Let's line it on the ground. Let's get out and I'm going to take these blocks off. I was trying to bring that the center mass up because it was awfully low. But this should be okay. It's a fail safe, right? Did I take something off I didn't mean to? No, we're good. We are good. Uh, let's hit the right buttons here. And see how it does. Now, because I, I have the stabilization off on most of them, as you can see, I'm actually getting a really good speed because I'm actually having to use the hover at the same time. Uh, that was actually one thing I've noticed that uh, turning stabilization off would actually get you more speed in some cases. And now, for some reason, I've lost speed. But that's okay because I can do this. Whee! <laughs> Being able to have a pitch would really be nice, but that's okay. There's really no way to actually go up. You know, I could probably just have the hover up and down only on the front air blades. And then hope that the rest will follow, but uh, from what I've s seen with my experience, sometimes just plain old uh, air blades not set to actually any movement will tend to create drag and prevent the craft from actually moving the way you want. Definitely gotta like that though. I wish there was one more key setting that I'd be able to use like like I'm using the number pad right now. I've got uh, four number pad four for strafing left, number pad six for strafing right, uh, seven to roll left, nine to roll right, and if I had the key bindings, I'd be using 8 and 5 for pitch up and pitch down, but I don't really have have that. I'd have to I won't, actually, I'm wondering if that would work. Let's, give it, let's try that here. I'm going to land this down. I want to see if I can get a pitch actually set up with this. It should be theoretically possible. Make sure the coast is clear. And for some reason it wants to fly. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, maybe that wasn't it. That is weird. Interesting. I'm holding control to go down. Okay, now it's working. Let me uh, try something here. I won't be able to do it anyways. I would have to use the hover up and hover down. And that's what I'm using for the roll. So if there was one more here, I'd be able to do it. But that is not the case, sadly. But all in all, it's still a fun ride. <laughs> if I turn that air blade back on. Uh, Korean Balls, if you guys are watching, can you somehow get the, the renaming back in? Maybe set it up in, in the center of the radial menu or something? Okay, let's see if I could do this. Okay, we lift up. We roll. Oh. A little aggressive. But it worked. There we go. I have... A semi fully flight capable vehicle. Can do the rolls, can do strafing. For the most part. It does need some fine tuning, but it works. Now, where is my home from here? Wow, we went quite a ways. See, and that, like I said, this is the thing with the stabilization turned off. Uh, I'm only going to go to the height that the two air blades can actually have set up. So even though I go up high when I drop back down, that's because all six air blades were lifting up, but only two of them are cushioning the fall and maintaining altitude. So that's why I'm staying here. But anyways, I'm going to call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. Uh, you will find this one up on the blue uh, the workshop if you want to check it out for yourself and have some fun, make some modifications and... You know, maybe you could do something a little better than what I did. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. 
And as always, I'll see you in the next one. God, this camera <laughs> doesn't know what to do half the time. Surprisingly, I haven't broken the game in a while. Famous last words. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Later.